Yes, indeed it is. My country on Radio Gibraltar. I'm Gerard Boma. Over the next hour, well, you know what's coming. Fantastic country music. We have the American country. Tal flamenco en Canal Sur Radio. Esta es nuestra cita, la de los aficionados, la de los que quieren aprender, para estar al día en todo lo que ocurre en el mundo. La, la. The Strait of Gibraltar opened out as a strait 3.3 million years ago. So in the time of the existence of, of any kind of animal that resembles humans, um, the strait has existed. Mm -hmm. Okay, The Neanderthals would have looked across the strait. Whether they crossed or not, we don't know. It's never been demonstrated. But that doesn't mean it didn't happen. It just means we haven't found evidence. Yeah, geographically, well, Gibraltar, as I said, is... is on the crossroads between Africa and Europe and between the Atlantic and the Mediterranean. Um, Africa, you can see Africa, you look out the window, you see Africa just there. And a lot of people are surprised that you can see one continent from the other. There's not a lot of places you could do that from. Um, we're only about 17 kilometers away um, from Africa from here. It's not the southernmost point of Europe, but it's very close to the southernmost point of Europe. So it means that there's a, a place where there's a lot of cultural interaction. You've got the, the African uh, people from Morocco coming to Gibraltar. Suddenly, after the frontier was closed by Franco, we had a huge problem with no workforce. So the Moroccans um, were invited to come over and to provide that workforce. And that was only reinforcing a cultural link that had existed um, for a long time. Those 18 years when, when no traffic was allowed through through the frontier, um, there, there was uh, the airline and you can travel to London, or there was uh, Mons Galpe and you can travel to Morocco. Apart from that, there was there was no other way to get off the road. That is the point, you know, of the problem in uh, always have the Moroccans in Gibraltar, because we doesn't have a free movement. The government of Spain is doesn't recognize the is no ID card. We we don't have a, a identity card. We got the civilian registration card. You imagine if the person living in one country for 14 years is only have a civilian registration card and is not recognized by the government of uh, UK and now recognized by, uh, by EU government as well and that is I think you you only have something proving you are registered working in Gibraltar you know, but you're not living in Gibraltar or you're not residents in Gibraltar you know. I'm always feeling Moroccan lady, even I'm living in Gibraltar, which now I'm a lucky person because I got two countries to be proud of. If you live in any country for five, ten years, you got all your rights to be 
uh, a resident of that country, you got all the right as a, as a, um, English or as Gibraltarian or as Spanish. So I don't think, I don't know why the, Gibraltar, the, the Moroccans who live in Gibraltar, they haven't got that right. Even, especially they live in for 40 years, 40 years for me, so many years. So we fight to achieve like uh, uh, freedom of movement. They can, they need their right to move the country because if they stuck here for 40 years, it's like in a prison. The law in Gibraltar is, uh, I think, is very different than the rest of the world. And uh, when I'm married, uh, all, my wife is only can come here for a uh, summer holiday or, or in a couple of months. And that is a little bit strong, you know. You're walking here, but your head is in Morocco with your family. I think uh, in the future, in the future, it's going to be better. talk to you that he cannot go to this bar or have any problem with the people. He didn't talk to you about that. He talks to you about the bloke, the, the one that doesn't give you a passport. They are, all the time the authorities. Here the authorities, the political, are the ones that are discriminating. You know, the government is very critical of me. Although the government and the other political parties are very critical of me because they say I tarnish the name of Gibraltar in this area. And I said, and I said to them, not worry, put it right, put the thing right, and there will be no tarnishing. So in 1969, they they introduced like a parliament, giving autonomy to the to the people in Gibraltar, to the politicians in Gibraltar. And Spain protested protested about that, they said that would be uh, hindering their historical claim. So what their reaction was to cross the frontier. Because there were, there were about seven, nine or ten thousand Spanish workers here. You know what I mean? Had a good relationship, uh, family, and there were very good relations between the two sides. I mean, uh, in 1925, 26, there was no frontier. The frontier was built in 1930s when the, when the problem started with the Republic, the Civil War. Mm -hmm. They started uh, building the, the frontier. So, mm -hmm. uh, all of a sudden, you find yourself from one day on the Friday they announce it, and on the Saturday everybody disappears. So I mean, you, you, you're finding about with, with a deficit of 6,000 uh, workers less. So they say, you know, it would be better to bring Moroccan people. We don't give them any residence, even a temporary pass, temporary residence for a year. You know? In that way, what what do you achieve by that? That any time. You can say, Mira, sorry, all, all, the, all the ones you came can go tomorrow. But that temporality has moved on, and now we are nearly, they are nearly people 25, 30 years, and they are still in the same position as when they came over in the 1969-70s. It is a financial center, tax saving. So the financial center provides you, provides uh, companies to come over with very lucrative uh, tax uh, concessions. The cigarette, the booze, so the whiskey, all the rest is cheaper. So there's a lot of sell. They sell a lot of them. That makes a lot of money and creates employment. They say people work in the prior to the construction frontier. They say people work here from Monday to Friday, and then everybody disappears mm -hmm. to Spain.
probablemente es una de las zonas por el hecho de que es el acceso más cercano de África hacia, hacia Europa, es una de las zonas más difícilmente eh, franqueables mmm, para, para, sobre todo para la, la población que viene de África. La, es un espejismo esta zona, es, eh, engaña tremendamente, como engañan los días de Levante, donde sabes que el continente está ahí, pero no lo ves. ¿eh? Entonces, es, es una zona que verdaderamente es reflejo de lo que el hombre puede llegar a hacer eh, cuando se empeña en levantar fronteras. Este festival nació hace siete años ya, con una intención, primero con una intención clara de constituirse como puente entre dos continentes, entre realidades diferentes, entre pueblos que, que en este lugar concretamente y concreto del estrecho prácticamente se dan la mano, pero que en el fondo cuando uno entra en la cotidianidad se da cuenta de que viven espalda contra espalda. Eh, este, este festival nació como una herramienta de conocimiento. Eh, es un festival que tiene desde un principio un compromiso claro, un doble compromiso, ético y estético, un compromiso ético porque, porque está claro que detrás de este festival hay una intencionalidad didáctica casi, hay una, hay una, una búsqueda de, de ofrecer eh, de, un, de un lado el conocimiento sobre el continente africano y, so, y de otro aportar una imagen positiva, una, una imagen constructiva o una imagen por lo menos eh, contada en primera persona. Y sobre todo no es igual para todos, porque te dicen, a ver, hablamos de, de una zona de dos orillas como un espacio único, eh, humano, cultural, geográfico. En este festival, cada año, tenemos un auténtico calvario para hacer venir a los niños con los que estamos trabajando durante meses de la otra orilla. Ayer supimos que no se les ha dado el visado a los 20 chicos que han estado trabajando con una ilusión tremenda durante todo un año, con chicos de aquí que sí han podido ir al otro lado, uh -huh. ¿eh? y ahora no van a poder estar aquí para presentar el trabajo que han hecho que en han común, hecho. porque no se les ha concedido el visado. The light is where the people they now in Morocco try to survive to all the problems and you added la mondialisation you added the impossibility of going as the others some can go some cannot why now it can appear like a barrier because of the crisis of Europe of the la civilisation occidentale is in crisis There is a system which shows uh, fracasos, como se dice en español, uh, muy grave. Y this show that maybe it's not the only way to follow uh, in all the countries in the in the earth, maybe. Now, the one who forced you is in that. Yeah? Now, it's a very good period mm -hmm. to uh, progress in a way that stop our elite to copy, to be sure that the only way is become an elite occidental. Mm -hmm. Stop. Maybe that crisis is going to help to again do something which save the originality of each country and 
uh, open the way of dealing, not to build walls, but exchange between the north and the south. The name is not Dharma only, it's center, cultural center of uh, citizen initiatives. Mm. That's the name of the association. Right. And when we met children, they say it's dark now, not our house. And the children, they had never seen people like me uh, doing the painting by themselves and doing mm -hmm. that. And they say, you are doing that? Oh, okay. You want to help? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and this was completely down. If you see the photograph in the... I, I can show them because yeah. they are... In the Agora, in the big house, you can see all everything is down. If we want that country to progress, but not just the top of it, copying Europe and disconnected with the majority, which inside are working obscurantists, uh, uh, charlatans, a lot of things, you ignore them. If you don't go inside, one day you are going to be a, a, a feel like a strange, some, somebody étrange, extérieur, exclu, and you cannot give back all what that country which belongs to everybody gives you as a privilege. Yeah. In Morocco we have no petrol, you know, we have no minerals, we have no uh, riches. It's the people who is, is going to, if you give him the possibilities of uh, giving their potential, it becomes a possibility of the happy world. Borders, arbitrary dividing lines that are simultaneously social, cultural and psychic, territories to be patrolled against those whom they construct as outsiders, aliens, the others, forms of demarcation where the very act of prohibition inscribes transgression, zones where fear of the other is the fear of the self, places where claims to ownership, claims to mine, yours and theirs are staked out, contested, defended, and fought over. Es la segunda oportunidad que hay. Ya perdí la la primera oportunidad de mi país por la segunda es busca Europa como te digo. Por lo antes, por ya no hay más remedio. Tú mira el cielo, mira para abajo, por tu vida ya tu vida todo negro, tu vida todo negro. No vaya a decir por mira que ¿Quién te va a salvar? Nadie. Era mi pensamiento, irme, mi pensamiento, irme a, a la, la provincia de Almería, porque ahí no le pasa nada, cualquier extranjero sea como sea, ¿no? Entonces busca algo de, de trabajo. Entonces mi idea es irme a Canadá. Y salimos ahí nosotros madrugada, 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 y vaya. En el mar ya todo igual, no hay diferencia entre chico, grande, viejo, no, ahí no hay fuerza. Imagínate, a todos los pájaros se ponen ahí, encima al lado tuyo, ya en el mar todos son amigos, no hay enemigos, ¿no? se fue peligro, ¿eh? se fue peligro. Y llega un momento que hay, que, que hay gente contigo llorando, porque tú no conoces ni este ni este, ni nadie conoce otro. Muy raro para coincidir tú conoces este o fulano, muy raro. Hasta el hombre que, que lleva la, 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 la lancha es, es muy complicado, ¿eh? porque tú no lo conoces. Y un cime te dice, eh, la muerte está aquí, te saca un cuchillo, te saca cualquier tipo, la muerte aquí. La noche no veía nada. Lo único que, por ejemplo, llega hasta ahora ya no puede, no puede andar, entonces tú vienes a un un cerro y tiene que controlar por dónde va a pasar para el día siguiente. Tiene que levantar madrugada y, y uh, uh, tú encuentras un camino, una carretera. No puede porque tú dices, ellos no pasa nada, pero es, 
Igual que un crimen. Sí, la, la buena, la gente que ayuda. Yo aquí estoy más feliz. Más feliz que, más feliz que nunca. Porque, porque antes, antes, antes de pasar al mar, a lo mejor te dice, ay Dios mío, puedo, puedo, puedo salvar o no, porque se está jugando la vida, no sabe, no sabe lo que va a hacer. Yo, ve, yo lo veo por aquí ahí y digo, ojalá si está mi madre está a la punta de que haya montaña, entonces me ve, yo lo... Aunque, aunque ella no me ve, no me cocha ni teléfono, nada, nada más de corazón. A lo mejor si ella de la punta de que haya, a lo mejor hay comunicación de eso. Sí. 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 Sí.